White clouds. White clouds. Great tree moon. <laughs> Three houses. Yep. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. In a while. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, <laughs> has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the holy kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. Yeah. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Yeah, unfortunately, cannot last. The way Alois is looking at Gerald. This will be your first time at the monastery. No, actually I'd my second. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. What is going on in that head of yours, Edelgard? Reveal to me your secrets. There it is. Definitely need to recruit Lysithia for this one. Her and Edelgard. So much to discuss, I imagine. Oh, hey, it's the tomb. The holy tomb. I've been in there. Hanuman. Teaching some magic. <laughs> Manuela. Someone's infatuated. I do wonder who's gonna teach who now that I'm gonna be taking on a different house. Ray is here. Of course. Where else would she be? She's like, welcome back, Gerald. You have something to return to me. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... <laughs> oh, Gerald. Her. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop. Lady Rhea. Yeah, she is lovely. Lady Rhea. The Archbishop. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. Yeah, Rhea did a good job at uh, correcting their prior mistake. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Man, she's been... Has no one questioned... Just how long she's been Archbishop. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Seteth. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. How's it going, Seteth? Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? <laughs> well. Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? That is correct. Actually, no, now I'm kind of forgetting the details of his journal. 
I know he stole me away, but I don't remember if he was actually my blood father. Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid we lost her to illness. That part I think is true. Or did you lose her to childbirth, I forget. It has been a while. I see. My condolences. As for you... He did love her, I though, regardless. I think, yeah, I think I am his child. What is your name? My name is... A fine name indeed. Byleth. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers' Academy. Of course. Hmm. Gerald. You already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? Yeah, he probably does. You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. Oh, of course he did. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. I do like Rhea's theme. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Farewell, Lady Rhea. Ah, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. It's really okay, I mean... It's better for the world, though not so much for you. I must work here as a servant or as a mercenary. Nothing like that. They want you to teach by the sound of it. <laughs> you heard those brats earlier talking about the officers academy, right? Yeah. Well, the academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. Something tells me that Lady Rhea would have, um, appointed me regardless. Though I'm not entirely sure if she's caught on quite yet as to who I am. Be interesting to look out for that. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. <laughs> of course, Manuela. I was expecting this. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. Oh. Oh, she's talking to Gerald. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Oh, she's nice. That's okay. A little bloodthirsty at times, but she's nice. Just doesn't want to see everyone die again in another Red Canyon. Or is it Red Valley? Red Canyon incident. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. She's up to a lot of things. Oh, it's you then? So young. Yeah. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I mean, they often are, though. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers' Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, <laughs> I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Oh, I definitely have a crest, Hanneman. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. There it is. You're a physician. You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Do you know someone named Dorothea? Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefranc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. <laughs> Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuel. Don't worry, I will make sure you two get together this time. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Yep. Yeah. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? I basically understand them now. Do you really not know? Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. 
The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Yep. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Empress. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House. And that's take his massive horns. The Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. Yep. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. <laughs> I'll say. Yeah, unfortunately, it's also a troublesome year. Those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy of course, to get your bearings. I remember that. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. We'll do, Hanneman. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. <laughs> I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch. But they're good kids. Bernie's not I'm too sure odd. Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> uh, have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... She has her reasons. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. <laughs> I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years when ago? did you come on board, Seteth? I know you and Flane were... Or maybe it was just Flane who was asleep for many years. No, I think it was both of you, though. How long have you been awake? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. Oh, in time. Sadith is a really good dude. More important. Just a little I untrusting at the moment. I am oh, hey. increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. Shamir. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church. Especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. You talking about the Flame Emperor? Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your or trust the in the utmost care. I Probably the Flame Emperor. Occurs to shake that confidence. Ah, reading. I haven't heard that many more times. It is a cool outfit he has. I think I prefer it to Byleth's. Hilda! Oh, she's so young again. Hi, Ignatz. Oh, God, that haircut again. Eating, of course. Studying. Oh, God damn this. She looks so sad there, Marianne. Of course she does, though. Stern Hubert. Hey, Ferdinand. <laughs> Lin <laughs> Linhart. Casper. Oh, the hat's... Oh, Bernie. I see Ingrid there, Sylvain, Ash, and Annette. <laughs> Ingrid's having none of Sylvain's shit. Mercedes. To do Felix. You can really glean a lot of their personalities from this opening. she is. Lady Rhea herself. <laughs> kind smile. Of course. 
Here we go again. Alright, Lady Rhea. What was my first task again? I think it was just to talk to everyone. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? That is correct. To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Of course. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Sure. Speak to every student you can. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of which, I said Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Oh. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. <laughs> Clearly not suited. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? I agree. You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Oh, Seteth. You know you'll come to love me. Man, it really has been a while since I haven't had most of the school open to me. Huh. A nope. moment, please. You there. You don't want me going there. Let's go talk to uh, Edelgard over there. <laughs> All right, they always uh, introduce the new place. Idle guard. Pity. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the empire. Oh, don't worry. I still will. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressfelg. Hressfelg. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. Yep. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. Why, of course. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? I've met them. Sure. Ah, uh, so they're right. These are the Black Eagles. Yep. There's not a lot of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus me. That's nine. Yeah. I guess eventually we could add, like, Flane and Seteth to the mix. Or maybe, like, Scythia. We'll see. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's <laughs> a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. Oh, she is. She really is. And fuck Count Varley. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave. But don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Of course. Oh. Ah, her strengths. Bow and a lance, of course. She's Count Varley's Oops. own. I believe. Swap display. Oh. Hi, Bernie. Bye, Bernie. She's Count. I no, damn it. I always forget which buttons which. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. Dorothea is amazing. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. Yeah. She's good, though. Does not like flying or riding. But makes an excellent Magus. Or a mortal savant. And has, a, has an amazing hat. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Oh, yeah. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. So that happened before or after they attacked? Looks like she'd make a good either Wyvern or Pegasus, Pegasus Knight. Of course, she also makes an excellent um, assassin. He's 
the second son of Count Burglies. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, an eccentric fella. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Don't worry. I'll be sure to protect him again. Ah, uh, Linhart. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him. And nothing <laughs> else. Yeah. He's also fond of, well, napping. He definitely looks better once he grows his hair out. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Yeah, as a crust scholar of some sort. Which I'm sure you have uses for. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to mm. challenge me. It's terribly irritating. He is quite the noble noble. His house is that of Duke Iron, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That Iron. family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. Yeah. Don't uh, purge them when you take For over. For some reason, his house is... Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. He is devoted. Completely and utterly. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but... <laughs> Actually, that's rather accurate. Still, <laughs> if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Yeah, he seemed like it in the end. Officer duty. Good with gambits. Also, apparently bows. Bows and magic. Interesting choice of combination. I think he became a dark bishop. Me? Well... Some think I'm a bit distant, arrogant even, but there's little to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. Of course. And you will be, you're already an emperor of sorts. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Oh yeah? Well, I look forward to serving you, or to teaching you rather. Goodbye. Wait, why does you still why do you still have that? Sorry, I never pro I am the pro wonder. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Mm, Alright. Oh <gasps> Gatekeeper, how's it going? Greetings! You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. You and me will be best friends. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? You succeed. With flying colors. Yeah. And by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. <laughs> no levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Oh, yeah, I think you only have like, I think you had something to report once. Huh? Where is everyone? Outside. Ah, the golden deer. The Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Yep, I have quite a few commoners. Should I talk to them again? And I, I don't really remember all the individual dialogues, so... I might as well, right? What do you think? Ah, uh, Lawrence. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. <laughs> yeah, this is prior to your... My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want Acceptance to of him. It. I'm okay. Thank you, Lawrence. Ignatz and Lysigachi is so short again. To be fair, uh... I'm so used to her being like five years older. Skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Yep. Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignatz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. Of course. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. How could I? And I will be recruiting you as soon as possible, Lysithia. Worry not. What do you think? Hello, Marianne. Hey, are you that mercenary?
mercenary. Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... Marianne. Also, Valentine. That's a nice middle name. M Marianne Van Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Of course, Hilda. I don't know if I'll get to recruit you or not. I'll, I'll probably try. But you're not going to be one of my priorities for this, uh... Right, I feel like you really... Claude is going to need you. I might try to save Marianne, though. What was that? Leonie is so friendly. That's the noble lady Hilda, isn't it? She's very noble and quite the lady, so yes. Ah, Raphael and Leone. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> of course, Raphael. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. You know, I completely forgot most of your last names. I'm sorry. Like, I had no clue your last name was Pinelli. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Kirsten. Raphael Kirsten. Or Kirsten. Who are you again? Byleth. Hey. Hello, Claude. Well, well. Scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. God, it's so weird not having you as my student I guess anymore. that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. I did like yours. I did. But not again. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more? Yes, I would. I'd like to hear these again. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. Yeah, yeah, and eventually your curiosity will be sated. In another timeline. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next prior timeline so learning about each other little by little. <laughs> ah, Lawrence. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. <laughs> yes, he does. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. That too, no, though. I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. He he has quite a few respectable uh, respect yeah respectable qualities. Of course, he also has quite a few uh, less than respectable qualities. But he grows. He's cool. In the end, Raphael. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Yeah. Seems like he's had a rough life. Poor Raphael, but uh, he he's dealt with it quite well. A very optimistic outlook on life cares for his sister wonderfully and Ignatz uh, he doesn't blame him despite all that he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet his passions are training eating and nah, actually that's about it <laughs> yeah he comes from a mer despite all that and speaking of Ignatz he's the second son of a merchant family since his brother will inherit the business he's training to become a knight oh I'm sure he'll well Actually, he's probably going to die in this route, but um, I'm sure he would make a great artist, though. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Yeah. Precious like Lysithia. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. Oh, yeah. But watch out. She gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? I am still shocked that you're the one who got a shared ending with her. Also, I only see the one crest up there. Is that a spoiler? Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. Yeah. Adoptive daughter, rather. She doesn't interact much with other students. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. She's... She's precious. And just needs a... Well, she needs all the hugs. With, uh... Her level of depression. And self-hate. 
Matilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. Well, we all like to coddle Hilda. If you look up lazy and then the throw her on the front lines, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. <laughs> yeah. It's unusual for a noble, I guess. Well, Hilda's a special kind of lazy. And we love her. She was amazing. She had some of the best lines. Really became one of my favorite golden deer. I mean, I love all of them, but... And Leonie. Leonie enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. <laughs> I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Of course. Also, she's, um... Well, Captain Gerald's number one student. Or, well, apprentice. Well then, that was nice again. Let's go to... Classroom belongs to the Blue Lion the Blue House. Lions. Our house leader is Prince Dimitri. Who am I going to recruit from you All guys? All of us here hail from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Hey, hey. Probably not Sylvain again. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved His Highness? It's an honor to meet you. I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Of course. Hey, Dudu. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's and talking Ash. about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. I am so sorry, by the way, about what happened to you. I didn't have to, but I did. I'm sorry. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. I have heard that you rescued his highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. He is truly loyal, too. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. And in s so when I do the... <laughs> Their playthrough. Can you imagine if I just pump all the resistance enhancing uh, items to him? Would that be fair? That wouldn't be fair. Though this is maddening, so. If it's not gonna be fair to me, I might as well not be fair to it, right? Ah, Ingrid and Felix. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. She's nice too. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. I wonder... Well, we'll see who I recruit later. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Hmm. <laughs> well, good luck, Felix. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and, uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Of course, Ingrid. Huh? And Mercedes and Annette. I will, of course, recruit you again, Annette, because you are precious. And who's this? And earlier this time. Not at all. Do you work here at the monastery? <laughs> well, I will soon. Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. Yes, it is. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy, too, then? Um... Something like that. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. Oh, your best friends? God, I hope I don't have to have uh, one of you kill the other. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Oh, Annette. Creepy to creep. Hey, hey. Okay. Right. Let's see someone's. Right. Oh, that's Dimitri. Let's say hi to him. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. It's okay, Dimitri. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. That is correct. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. You'll do just fine on your own, though. You will lose an eye as well. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Yes, please. Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? <laughs> He's so bashful. I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I yep. do hope that doesn't color your view of me. 
but I understand if that can't. Though be. it's gonna get so much more unpleasant. Sorry, Dimitri. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. Very loyally. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Yeah, Felix. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. Yeah. Um, not a big fan of his father, though. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. <laughs> I bet he would like that. Whoops, not to do again. To do, he's right. Ash. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so <laughs> I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. He is quite earnest. Ah, Sylvain. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. Close your shirt. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said... A bit of a... womanizer. Well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. <laughs> it's okay, Dimitri. It's born of a lack of confidence that people like him for who he is, rather than just his crest. Mercedes. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. Hmm. Mercedes Vaughn something? She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Such a kind voice, too. Kind and gentle. Annette. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. And apparently is skilled in axes. That would be an interesting choice. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. <laughs> Here she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Oh, God, she's just precious. Explosion in the kitchen. Oh, Annette. Look at her looking all innocent. Ingrid. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. Yeah. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth... She is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Yeah, I did regret not getting to know her better. Lady Knight. I appreciate your effort. Thank you. Oh, give me time. Continue exploring. I have one more room to talk hey. to. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Of course. Oh. Let's see. Greetings. Let's talk to Petra and Hubert. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. Yep. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. You know, I will say, out of all the students here, Hubert, you definitely look like uh, the most evil. Though I know you're not. I don't think any of the students here are evil. Just come to conflict, rather. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. Of course. Hello, Petra. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. What the? In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. <laughs> Hello, I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. As am I, Petra. Hello, Linhart and Casper. Need more sleep. Is it true? Need more sleep. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Caspar. Rather than Casper, huh? I guess it is a AR, not an ER, but. Caspar. Linhard, goodbye. 
<laughs> Thanks, Leonard. Jeez, Leonard. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? He's a very... He wears his personality on his sleeve. So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. Well, you're half right. Dorothea? Dorothea? Well, aren't you just lovely? Is hmm. this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? Why, do, please, yes, Dorothea. Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the academy, I was a member of an opera Dorothea. company empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Oh, I know. You are a lovely singer. I'll see you around, Dorothea. <gasps> Bernie, yes. Hi. I don't even have to recruit you this time. Ah, what? I don't talk to strangers. <laughs> oh. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? That is correct. I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. I feel like Edelgard is from the Empire's former foremost house, House Rusfeld. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. As do I, Ferdinand. Is that everyone? I guess. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Of course, Lady Rhea. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I did enjoy getting to see them again. All alive and well, for now. It's also fun to see all these conversations again now with everything I know about all the students. I'm surprised I... When I first played this, I had no idea what all their names were. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. Oh, I know, Seteth. Worry not. I won't let you down. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Oh, yeah. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Of course. Why, it's obvious, isn't it? I shall choose... Edelgard. Most of them use magic. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Oh, absolutely. I wonder which path is the most popular. If I had to guess, I'd say the Black Eagles are probably the most popular for at least the first playthrough. Whether they remain the most popular after all three playthroughs, who knows? Yes. Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. I will, Lady Rhea. Worry not. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. I do, Seteth. Brother? Oh, Flane! I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. How are you doing, Saint Cicelyne? I am in the middle of something, Flane. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? Why, this is Byleth. This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. Oh, she is precious as well. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. How much do you have to practice saying that, Flame, so you don't accidentally call him Daddy? Or father, rather. Because you would never say dad, you would say father. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. What is it? In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. Right. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. I would that never... I would never dare.
Wait, so our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Thanks, Caspar. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? Oh, he's just... You know, he's like a puppy, almost. You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty funny, actually, coming from Lenart. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Oh, he's actually not... He has his moments of politeness. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. Of course. You're excused. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and... Please don't talk to me too much either. Oh, but I can't help it, Bernie. <laughs> Just turns around. I'm sorry for the chaos <gasps> you've walked into. Oh. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. Uh, probably, actually. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. Not at all. In fact, I hope you do. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Of course. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. I don't mind at all. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Did she just call me fat? I know what she meant, but still. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. Thank you, Dorothea. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. <laughs> oh, Dorothea. Oh, uh, please She's actually very apology. similar to Sylvain in some ways. Language. Except for successful in her pursuits. Unlike him. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly right, such a good match. for you to treat me as you do the others. Of course, Edelgard. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. Oh, I know you do. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. I know that I'm the one la last person you ever wanted to uh, come into conflict with, and you did try to recruit me several times, even when I was in the Golden Dares. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to <laughs> see our new teacher in action. Sure thing, Caspar. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Ah, uh, idioms. Not real ice, just the ice of... Um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. Yep. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Of course, Bernie. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea. That sounds nice, too. Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? It does. And he's off in a corner. I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. Oh, Ferdinand. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. You know, this is actually the most I've ever gotten to really know you, I think. I just know that you look the part more than any other noble. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to Except quiet perhaps down Dimitri. this racket. He looks the part, I don't too. Envy you. <laughs> Thanks, Hubert. Normally this rowdy. Oh, Edelgard, it's okay, I understand. New professor and all that. I do hope you can manage, Professor. I can. Thank you, Edelgard. New places to explore in the monastery. Thousand gold from the Church of Seros as funding for this month's activities. Hey, we skipped above. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You're lying, Hanneman, but okay. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything, about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Actually, at this point, I think I might know more about them than you do. Crests are a fascinating topic, but before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. And by that you mean the hearts of, well, the children of Sothis. A 
are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Man, how much it must have... How much self-control it must have taken for uh, Rhea not to, you know, to accept this uh, story, considering the uh, truth of the matter. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. Of course. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. Right. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. And uh, can skip generations, right? Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Right. Do what you can to find out. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. Of course. What is this? The Crest of Flames. A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? Actually, no, I bet it's when she hears about this that Lady Rhea's suspicions, or either she gets her suspicions or her suspicions are confirmed. To think there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! Would you like to know more about crests' true nature, Hanneman? <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. Of course. Thank I you. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Of course. Thank you. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. <gasps> Or perhaps... Keep going, Phantom, and I'm sure you'll get it. What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. Yeah, dot 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 indeed. Oh... And here we are. Renown has increased as a special perk from your new game plus save file. With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. Yep. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month and when. Yep. Yeah, I remember. Now. Oh, I see. What was this day? Oh, founding day. Of the Adrestian Empire. And Hubert's birthday, oh, well, we missed it. And Ferdinand's birthday. Well then. Let's go ahead and explore. So this is my room. I thought I heard a girl's voice, but I must have been imagining things. Nope, that was Sothis. She's over there. Or not. Not yet. Journal. <laughs> no new stuff yet. Oh, I have the Dancer Ensemble. Oh my god. That's a look. Uh, 
professor. Ooh, wow, 1,600 points. Wouldn't it be a bad idea, actually, to increase sooner rather than later. That would really help uh, speed things along regarding supports and stuff. Or if I've already gotten supports before. It's also not a bad idea. It feels like this would be a little... I don't know. Cheap? Though it is expensive, to be fair. Huh. I could become the enlightened one now. But no, it's just for the class ability, actually. Wait, I can buy crests? Alright, I think I want to get to at least C rank professor level with these renown points, right? Each rank is, what, 500 points? So if I pick this now... I get my adjutants, that's nice. Um, though it's only another 2,500 points, fuck it. Give me plenty of time for uh, other stuff. This is another one that might not be a bad idea. Though, on the other hand, it could be interesting to see my take on some of the supports I may have forgotten the details of with everything I know now. Yeah, I mean, the only ones that are really I would really be doing again are, um, ones like, well, I definitely don't want to do Reyes. <laughs> She's, uh, I don't. And, um, would be like Seteth or Flame, maybe. No. Oh, hey, Esworth Flame. Now that I look at it, there's a lot of characters here that I would love to see have happy endings with Byleth. But no. That's a question for another time. Let's, uh, let's not do that for now. Yeah, instead we're gonna focus on, uh, upgrading our statues, I think. Once we can. With that 11,600 points. Hello, Seteth. These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your right. room is here at the end. I know, I was just there. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. Mm hmm As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Isn't Bernie on the first floor, though? Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. And isn't Leonie on the second? Maybe I'm misremembering. Anyways, see you around, Seteth. Someone over here I need to talk okay. to. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Right. Maybe I should talk to my professor at the Right, you're just, uh, introducing me to that concept. Yes. Hello, you two. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. <laughs> I won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future. It's just good to see you, you know, happy and excited instead of, well, you know. Let me know when you are hungry. Oh? I will make you a quality meal. Why, thank thanks you. for your service to His Highness. You know, I never did take him up on that. I have a request. Yes, thank you, Green Thumb Beginnings. I'll need lots and lots of flowers. Hello, you two. Oh, Professor! Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Mmm, yeah. I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Oh, I know Hilda, but, well, actually, without Pilot there, I don't know if she'll apply herself in the end. Hey, Teach, I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. 
Yep. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Mmm, I would love to for old time's sake, but no. Sorry. Hey. I'm going slow. Oh. Now where? Yes, yes. It's a dormitory. Hello, Leone. Not who I was looking for, but nice. I'm Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. Uh, I keep telling yourself that, Leone. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. I learned from him my entire life, though. Now there she is. The one and only. Oh, she's humming. And I don't even have to recruit her. I get her from the very beginning. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. I understand. Give it time. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. I am. For now. Wow. Hello, Sylvain. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. <laughs> Oh, Sylvain. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I wonder if you'll end up, uh... I mean, you're not a priority for me this time to recruit or anything. I probably wouldn't use it if you did, since I already have. But, um... Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Of course. I'm gonna get new characters this time, except for a few personal favorites. Yes, yes. Hello, Linhart. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. Is it now? I could just forget all about my assignment. Don't you dare. I expect you up uh, bright and early. You know, you really are our team's uh, the Black Eagles Hilda, aren't you? Well, yeah. That's, uh, now I'm feeling sleepy too. Yeah. Oh, Linhart. Anyway. Hey, Ash. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. God, he's so happy. I really do feel bad about what I did. I'm so sorry, Ash. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. Ah, well, you seem well informed on the subject. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about Oof. herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Of course. Speaking of which, while we're here. Yes, yes. I wonder. Interesting. Compatible seeds. Use the plant command. I wonder what determines whether a seed is compatible. Does it mean that they're the same star, roughly? should test that out. And yeah, of course, the more you spend, the better your harvest will be. That would explain why sometimes my predicted yields weren't the greatest, even though I was using high-quality seeds, because I was mixing them with uh, low-quality seeds. The Dew's Seed. Ah, uh, let's not waste money on this my thanks of course thank you for the seeds let's see hey Cyril I'm a little busy I know you are oh sorry if you're looking for the greenhouse it's right there see it looks like a greenhouse that's it, it does kind of look like a greenhouse doesn't it, it looks more like a chapel or something, though. Oh, I can't go here yet. Hmm. Now. Hello, kitty. Lounging around. Fish keeper. Oh, damn. 
Well, hello, Marianne. No, I know what you're... God, now every time I see her praying, I'm going to be sad, aren't I? Because I know exactly what she's praying for. Ugh. Oh, uh, let's... I feel like I need to recruit her just to make sure she gets a happy ending. Goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. <sighs> oh, Marianne. There's the guy who's always looking down. Unbelievable. The Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance's leading house. This is one exceptional year, that's for sure. It will be. If you're a teacher here, you better watch your step. If anything were to happen to those kids... I know. Well, suffice to say that it could harm the reputation of the Church of Saros, which we've spent almost a millennium establishing. Well, just to know that things aren't going to... Oh, damn it. It's just the market. It's so weird being restricted again. No one over here. Oh, let's go in. Oh, hey, Flane. Hello there, Professor. Hello. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. <laughs> I know. That's a shame. Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. I mean, you're quite a bit older than all these students, though. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. <laughs> Might you help me with a favor? There we go. Now I can do the fishing. I saw you over there, Raphael. Hello, Petra. Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. It's okay, Petra. If my ways of speak... Uh, uh, of speech are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. I will. Hey, Felix. I'm busy. Do you want something? Do you want a duel? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. Hmm, <laughs> good luck. Um, Raphael. Ooh, that all looks so good. What are you, what are you eyeballing? Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I it, need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Because you would eat them bankrupt, Raphael. And because the cooks need to go home eventually, too, you know, off time and all that. Today's special. Ooh, um... Let's see. I guess let's do, for now, Edelgard and Bernie. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Oh, well, I didn't. Well, okay, the game told me. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Not nah, just the generics, but it's new students for me to learn. Nice. I knew I could count on you. Did I not get the uh, added? Uh, it's because I... Yeah, for next time, I'll get the extra time. There you are, gatekeeper. Wrong gate, but... Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Thank you. By the by, have you ever regretted a decision and wished you could go back and undo it? Oh, God, have I. But... Yeah. It's too bad there's no lesson for how to turn back the old clock, huh? But I suppose a bad decision isn't worth all that fuss anyhow. <laughs> oh, gatekeeper. Hinting at our uh, time ability. Not allowed through here. That's fine. I guess. Indeed. Annette, you'll be one of my first priorities, I think. Hello, Professor. Uh, I have a 
teeny tiny question for you, if that's all right. Of course. You haven't seen a man with hair the same color as mine, a scowling face, and a generally gloomy demeanor, have you? Not yet, but I know who you're talking about. Looking for someone? Well, yes. It's a bit difficult to explain. Please just let me know if you do see him, okay? I will. I absolutely will. Let's see. There's someone right there. Indeed. As part of our commitment to the goddess, the knights undertake various missions across all of Fodlet. Assisting with the education of young nobles is also a part of our sacred duty. Right. Well, thank you for your duty. Is it you? No, priest. Yes. I hear a member of House Fressfeld, the ruling family of the Empire, has entered the Officer's Academy for the first time in ages. You know, I wonder. Is it the reason Edelgard entered the Academy, even though it's not tradition in her house? To set her plans in motion? It is said I guess I'll find out. It is the Empire's very founding was aided by none other than Saint Seros. <laughs> yes, something that I forgot for most of the entire game and then learned again at the very end. That is why the crest of Seros is on the Imperial flag. It's kind of funny, really. It really is funny then how her and uh, how Edelgard and Seros uh, go at each other. In recent years, a rift has developed between the Empire and the Church. Let us hope this will be a good opportunity for both parties to reforge their close relationship of years past. Yep. Well, hopefully with me here, things will end up better for both parties. Unfortunately, it'll be at the expense of Dimitri and Claude. There are two types of crests. Major crests manifest their power most effectively, while minor crests are slightly weaker. Yeah. Of course, major crests are very rare. And if someone has one, it's a strong indication that they may be that person. It is said that the closer a person's blood relation is to various saints and heroes, the higher their chance of bearing a major crest. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Of course, there are also examples of major crests manifesting in children whose parents bear no crest whatsoever. Right. The exact nature of how and why crests are inherited is still a mystery. It really does raise the question of how the hell did anyone get a crest from St. Sethleen? Considering, you know, kind of a, well, at least in terms of saints, still, or children of, uh, Sothis, of the goddess, still a child, and never married, and never had children. Did they explain that in my route? In the Golden Deer. I don't think they actually did. Lysithia. No, I have not. Hi, Professor. Have you gotten around to visiting the library yet? No, unfortunately. It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep, <laughs> so I could spend all my hours there. I know you would, but don't neglect your sleep. You like reading? In a manner, yes. But it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. Oh god, she is so driven. Despite having such a tragic childhood. And such a... Uh, such a short expectancy. I do feel bad for her. We'll go up there later. For now... Ooh, I wonder if I can go in there. No, it doesn't look like it. But, hey, Yuritsa. How's it going? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. Oh, Yuritsa. I wonder if we'll get along this time. Surreal question. Considering. Yuritsa sure seems strong. Yeah, he's, um... He's, he's strong. I kind of thought he was going to be the new professor assigned to our class. Probably best he uh, was. Actually, for your class, it wouldn't have been a huge deal, but 
probably best you wasn't. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I wonder if that was Edelgard's intention. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. <laughs> no, you I could couldn't. probably take you, though. Well, I couldn't hold my own against him at this point yet either, but... Not a chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. Oh, it won't come to that, thankfully. Oh, there you two are. Edelgard. I mean, Hebert. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. Oh, don't worry. I know Claude very well. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. I know. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. Of course, Edelgard. You Worry not. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? I don't think we have the time. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. Thank you, Edelgard. But I really don't need it. Why, well, thank you, Edelgard. You did remind me I need to uh, accept quests on the bulletin board. Actually, I think I've already done most of them. Except for Fresh Catch. Now we're good. We accepted them the normal way. Now. Let us see. Oh, Ferdinand. Let me tell you the provenance of our class name. Oh. The eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. Right. Did I skip something on accident? No, I did not. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, black eagles. Hmm. I like it. Right, right. Oh, Mercedes. They don't put as much emphasis on the second E as I do. Before I came to the Officer's Academy, I attended a school of magic in the Kingdom Capital. I always put it more like the car. Mercedes instead of Mercedes, which I think is how they say it. That's where I met Annie. That's what I call Annette. Oh, 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 oh. You're sweet too, you know that. Oh, I guess Lawrence was at the school of magic too. Was he? I don't remember that. But Annie was always just so nice to me, even though I was older. She's my best friend in the world. Maybe I should recruit both of you so I don't have to... Or I could be a real evil jackass and have Annette kill you eventually. That's an option too. I'm not gonna lie, part of me is curious what your dialogue, your combat dialogue is. Ingrid. The Blue Lion House derived its name from the honorary title of the first King of Fargus. Okay. Lug, the King of Lions, wore brilliantly blue garments. His chivalric exploits are recorded in multiple legends. The library holds various historical accounts regarding him and the Blue Lions. If you find time, you should read them. They're filled with insights. Oh, I have. I've definitely read the books in the library. Ah, Dorothea. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? Wonderfully. If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? Oh, a date? If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. God, it's so good to see her hat again. I mean, she, even after the time skip, her fashion sense is impeccable. But I did miss it, I'm not gonna lie. Also, just because I really love Jotaro. Um, let's see, Ignatz Hi. and Lawrence. This is the Golden Deer House. You're in charge of a different house, right? This time, yes. Too bad we won't see more of each other. I'm happy to learn from you if the opportunity comes up. Of course. Yeah, one of my regrets is that I didn't use all of the uh, Golden Deer characters more frequently last time. Something I plan to rectify for this route is I'll use every single Golden or a Black Eagle member, and then um, supplement them with others. Our 
house is that of the golden deer. Do you know the significance of that name, Professor? Uh, I suppose. Golden deer are sacred creatures said to have protected Lester since time immemorial. No, I forgot that detail, actually. All three of the houses have a meaning behind their name. You should feel free to ask around if that sort of knowledge interests you. Thank you, Lawrence. Now, I think that is almost all of them. Just the quest, the fishing left. And you know how much I love my fishing. Oh, Flane's bait. Thank you, Flane. You know, it makes so much sense that she would be the one to give me, give me the fishing bait. <laughs> she does love her fish. Eh, we can do better than that. Ah, oh, screw it. It's probably gonna be small no matter what. Still got it. Yeah, I was struggling towards the end of the last route with my fishing. Kept failing my perfect scores. Oh, need to talk to Flane. Here's your fish. You have helped me so much. <laughs> I am certain Saint Sethlene would be most satisfied by this fish. I'm sure, sure she would too, Splane. God, it's like right in front of you. How did I ever not guess that? <laughs> it's like hilariously on the nose. <laughs> Thank you, though. I think that's everything. And Ferdinand's birthday. Unfortunately, I don't have a tea set yet. Much appreciated. Time for a mission. Ooh, maybe I should, um... Ah, well. Probably fine. I can buy these now, too, because of my, um, professor rank. Not that I could use them right now. And they're way too expensive anyways. Haven't unlocked the Battalion Guild or the Blacksmith yet. Alrighty. Rivalry of the Houses. Formerly a promising young mercenary, you are now the newest professor at the prestigious Officers Academy. Students and faculty alike look on you with curiosity as you engage in a mock battle between the school's three houses. Title drop. 